Hello and welcome to the numerical analysis. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to guide you how to edit the previous 1D simulation into a 2D simulation. So firstly, we have to change the function name and the file name and the file exported file name as well. So the number of interval by x direction will equal to the length divided on the x. And similarly, the number of interval by y direction will be equal to the height divided on the x. And now we create two matrix of x and y coordinates. Quick help the rank is n y plus one and n x plus one. Please remember that in MATLAB the row indicator goes first, so therefore n y must go first. And now we set the coordinate for each element of the uh, coordinate matrix. Please remember that the last coordinate may be not a, a multiple of the x, so therefore we need, we need to set it at the L1 or 2, which is the width or the length of the domain we are going to simulate. Now we are going to modify the temperature matrix. Please don't forget that it's a 2D matrix and we have three of them. I removed the coordinate matrix because we already have it before. So therefore now it has only three layers. And then I plot the contour of the initial temperature and capture it to write into a GIF file like I did in the 1D simulation. Now for the first step, we comment out all of the implicit and start with the explicit simulation which is much easier for us. So now we have to loop not over a, a line but a plane and we have to do it for an y and an x. And now please remember that because we have sum by y and x directions we have to divide by 2 and use the right equation we have to derive in the lecture. And then we copy the calculated result to the temperature for the next step and print out if the time is a multiple of dt out the export time frame. Now we save it and have a lunch to debug. Okay, we have something wrong over here on line 32. Ah, yes, I please don't forget that we have a 2D. And run it again. Something still wrong here. So now we go back to double check about the formula. Yeah, I forgot the J at this number. And I think this time it should be okay. Yes. So here is a heat transfer in 2D by explicit. Now I comment out it and move to the implicit. We have to set a tolerance as default and I don't change anything. I guess there is no change in the future. Now I start a while loop over the domain.
and I have to use the right equations for implicit method. Please don't forget that now we have only three layers, not four layers. And use the right equation we derived from the lecture. Please remember that we have two directions, so therefore we have to divide by four. And we have to copy with the right rank of the matrix. I think on good, now we can have a look. Here is the heat transfer by the implicit method. Now we will compare with explicit method. So I will put the implicit result here and comment out all of the implicit uh, and make the explicit active and run it again. So here is the explicit result and here is the implicit result. We have it's almost the same if we have small enough DT. Thank you very much for your time and see you next time.